to whatever you need and wow. then get that work done and lay the roof wow. back down. But ask your roofer uh, what that is going to cost you and then evaluate that. Wow. Because if you have a lot of dormers and we're ends up in a lot of roof, for a 1988 roof, which is kind of up there in years now, maybe you're thinking, well, you know, I don't want to spend that much money just to put the old thing back. So you can balance the two and make your decision appropriately. But that's uh, how you go about it. You don't have to worry about destroying your roof. There's just a process of unzipping it to get there. Holly, thanks for your call. Jack, welcome home. Oh, yeah, yeah, hi, Gene. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can, sir. How can I help? Oh, great, great, great. Oh, Look, I have a question on uh, insulation. Um, uh, I have a guy that uh, oh, did my friend's house, oh, and they drilled a little hole on the top, and, right, and they drill a little hole on the bottom, and they fill your house up with foam, oh, and they go all the way around right. and do the attic and stuff. Oh, so then right. I went on uh, YouTube oh, uh, on insulation, and I saw this family in oh, Scotland who had their house done, and they couldn't even live in it, and they had to tear the whole roof off, and rebuild the whole they destroyed their house so i saw that and i said well, i'm going to call dean and ask him what he thinks it's five thousand bucks but it, it's supposed to hold in the heat and hold in the cold and have your air conditioning be able to go way down and and also insulation for sound so do you have any familiarity with that or what, what do you think thanks yeah we're talking about blown in closed cell foam insulation Back east, in colder climates, it is the standard for uh, homes. Yeah. Uh, closed cell foam insulation is the standard because it is such an incredibly good insulator. Not only does it do the job uh, itself of such a high R value, much higher R value than, uh, than fiberglass insulation in the wall, um, not only does it do a better uh, job of resisting uh, energy transfer, but because it's foam and it has a slight expanding uh, capacity, not crazy like those uh, bottles that you buy, but it has a slight expansive capacity. The other thing it does is it seals off any air gap, air, any air leakage. And air leakage is, uh, is part of what makes uh, a house uh, insulation really great because you know, you can have the strongest boat hull in the world, and if there's a hole in it, uh, the boat sinks. Uh, so it, it's a really, really good system, and when it's applied well. Now, it is not very common for Southern California because we usually don't have the kind of climate out here that uh, calls for it. And it is the most expensive kind of insulation. But it's great, and it's done well. Uh, it'll be fantastic. Now, my only alternative to you is that there are other ways of retro-insulating your home using something like blown-in cellulose or blown-in fiberglass instead of the foam. You should, the process is very similar. Whole top, whole bottom, blow it in, and there you go. Uh, you should get a quote both ways because insulating those walls is going to make a massive difference no matter which way you go okay and it'll be up to you uh whether you want to spend the extra money on the phone uh to get a little bit better performance out of the house jack thanks for your call uh all right everybody more on color when we return i'm so glad you joined me this morning there is so much more to come at home with dean sharp the house whisperer on kfi KFI is literally the KFI of talk radio. KFI. Oh, that was so much fun. KFI. 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 If she can post a hundred thousand dollar bail. Whitley Lee is accused of being behind the wheel when Marcus Ares allegedly shot six-year-old Aiden Leos last month. Judge Larry Young said he considered another road rage case when reducing Lee's bail from five hundred thousand dollars. There was a an additional brandishing that happened days later after this really horrific, horrific crime, um, and that brandishing happened from Ms. Lee's car. But Yellen says Lee is charged as an accessory after the fact, which means he can only consider Lee's actions after Leos was killed when deciding bail. Ares and Lee will be back in court in August at the OC Superior Court. Corbin Carson, KFI News. Fire chiefs from San Luis Obispo to Orange County have come together to strategize for fire season. 
The presence of the Chiefs was a poster for cooperation. Cal OES Fire Chief Brian Marshall says his agency has more engines and is ready to help stitch together mutual aid. With the extreme drought, climate change, it is going to be a potential for a significant wildfire season. Orange County Fire Authority Chief Brian Fennessy says people need to be ready to go if an evacuation is ordered. I can't tell you how many times that I've heard people say that, you know, the fire looked a long ways off. I thought I had more time. And next thing you know, they're grabbing everything they have and, and they're running. In La Quinata, Chris and Carlo KFI News. A union for nursing home and home care workers in California has held a town hall with California Democratic Senator Alex Padilla to talk about putting home care workers front and center. Padilla says he supports the infrastructure deal reached by President Biden and senators from both parties. But the focus can't stop there. We've got to make sure that the care economy, the education piece, all that other stuff doesn't get left behind. The Service Employees Union says it supports the part of the American Jobs Plan focused on caregiving. The union is calling for better wages, more staff positions, more benefits, and more workplace support for caregivers. The World Health Organization is asking fully vaccinated people to continue to wear face masks to limit the spread of the Delta variant of COVID-19. The health officials say a large portion of the world is still not vaccinated and the highly contagious variant is causing a surge of COVID cases in many countries. In addition to wearing masks, the WHO is asking people to continue to social distance and avoid crowds. And emergency crews in South Florida are making their way through a mountain of rubble to find people who were trapped when a 12-story condo building collapsed. Miami-Dade Fire Chief Alan Kaminsky says the search is going to be constantly evolving. We can't just move it all at one time. It has to be very slow processes where we're digging through, searching, shoring up certain areas, other aspects. The building went down early Thursday morning. At least four people have been killed in the collapse and around 160 people are missing. FEMA is now helping with the search and rescue operation. And your next Google search for a news story could have a new disclaimer at the top. Search results for breaking news stories with details that can change quickly will now appear with a warning at the top of the search page. The warning says, it looks like these results are changing quickly. The warning is meant to help users know that the earliest search results that pop up online are not always accurate and that users should continue checking back for more details. The disclaimer is also meant to help users weed through deliberate misinformation posted online that a search would still pull up. Brian Bruman, KFI News. I think it's better just to go to the KFI website for news, but that's me. There's a closure on the 10. Santa Monica westbound out of the 10 shot down from 4th Street to the McClure, uh, McClure Tunnel. This is Caltrain's work in your way. They should be wrapping up this closure in the next little while, but in the meantime, you are seeing sudden delays through the area. Pacific Coast Highway also shut down both directions there between Ocean Avenue and the California Incline. A weekend-long closure in Silmar, westbound side of the 210 between Roxford and the 5. All lanes shut down until Monday morning around 5 o'clock. Use Foothill Boulevard instead. And Corona ongoing problem on the 91 East of 4 McKinley. At the crash, that has only the right lane open. Backup now all the way to Main Street. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Robert DeBucky. It's going to get warmer next. If you're in danger, you got to go. When it comes to your identity and keeping it safe, the folks at LifeLock want to make sure that your information stays secure. So let's say during the pandemic, or even now, you're working overtime, you're saving your money, you're paying off your debt, and now some identity thief wants to steal your information. This is why LifeLock by Norton helps monitor your information and alerts you to potential identity threats. And if you do become a victim, a dedicated U.S.-based specialist will be there to help fix it. Now, no one can prevent all identity theft to monitor every transaction, every business. But when identity thieves try to take what's yours, you don't have to take it lying down because there's a LifeLock. Save up to 25% off your first year. Call 800-LIFELOCK or go to LifeLock.com, promo code HANDLE. That's LifeLock.com, promo code HANDLE, or call 800-LIFELOCK, promo code HANDLE. Once again, that's promo code HANDLE for 25% off at LifeLock.com. Southland weather from KFI. Today, after the fog burn off, it'll be partly cloudy. Highs from the upper 60s to mid-70s at the beaches to the lower to mid-80s Metro LA OC. Mid-80s to low 90s for the valleys and mid-90s to low 100s for parts of the Inland Empire. Tonight, partly cloudy in the evening, then areas of low clouds and fog. Lows in the lower to mid-60s for Metro LA OC and upper 60s for the valleys and Inland Empire tonight. 
Right now it's Reseda, 66, Culver City, 63, Laguna Beach, 62, and in Fullerton at 64 degrees. We lead local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom, I'm Andrew Caravella. Saturdays from 6 to 8 in the a.m. That's right. Sundays from 9 to 11. Welcome. Welcome to the second hour of our five program. What are we all about? I'm here to help you out, to be an advocate for you as you wrestle with construction issues in your home, a mentor when it comes to design because, oh, my dear Lord, design matters most, my friend, when it comes to the uh, augmentation and uh, expansion and improvement of your home, and uh, just here to be a friend, you know, building yourself a more beautiful home, a more beautiful life, doing it more affordably and more artfully than you ever imagined. We are right in the middle of a conversation about wrestling with color. It's something that I do from time to time because it is so important for you to understand. I'm going to stop hitting my microphone here. I'm so excited. Uh, we've already learned lesson one. Lesson one is when testing color samples, it is imperative that you reproduce the final conditions as much as possible. That means you put up large samples because the size of the sample augments the color in the target room on the target surface. So let's say that's a wall, okay? Um, painted on the wall over primer like the final paint is going to be. Okay, because that affects color, and with the proper sheen, and then evaluate it under daylight and artificial lighting conditions in that room on that surface. Why do we go to all that trouble? To get it right. To get it right, because there are a lot of things about color that are augmented simply by the environment that it's in. As it mixes with light, it changes. As it grows in mass, it changes as it travels across the room and blends with other colors that are next to it, it changes. That's the thing that I just want to drive home today. And that is why we get very sight specific when it comes to color samples. Okay, what's the next lesson to learn? The next lesson is this. Most colors have what we call a mass tone and an undertone, okay? or what you might want to call a primary color and the undertone, okay? Um, that is the situation you arrive in when you bring home three kinds of blue, and uh, you actually get them on the wall, and all of a sudden you're like, well, that one has a lot, I think that one seems like it has a lot of red in it. It's almost purple. That blue is almost charcoal. It's got a lot of gray in it. And that, so what you're seeing when you're perceiving that, you're perceiving it right, what you're seeing is the undertone coming through. The primary tone, the mass tone, is blue. Blue. But then the undertone is what is starting to affect and augment that blue. Okay? Only, and, and understand this, only pure primary colors. Okay? Uh, that would be, when it comes to colors that have involved pigments, okay, that would be blue, red, and yellow, or to be specific, cyan, magenta, and yellow, okay? That's uh, 
CMY, and if you're familiar with the printing terms, K is thrown in there, that's black. Um, but only primary colors of cyan, magenta, and yellow do not have undertones because they are the pure unmixed pigment colors, okay? They're not combined, uh, they're not uh, the result of a combination of other pigments, all right? Everything else is a mix, which means every other color has an undertone, and it's the undertone which, which is going to frustrate and kill you. It is. It is the undertone that everybody wrestles with. Um, pink and green and yellow are probably the most troublesome undertones. The, and the, I say troublesome because you may not detect them when you're at the store and you bring them home and all of a sudden they're throwing things off a little bit, like weird, okay? Especially when it comes to neutral colors. Pink and green and yellow just tend to, like, they show up at the inappropriate time. So, lesson two. Are you ready? Here we go. Hold samples next to their mass tone primary color. In other words, if you have a true representation of cyan, magenta, and yellow in your hand, okay, in your hand, you will get that if you have a color wheel, uh, by the way. But if you have a pure representation of cyan, magenta, and yellow, um, if you hold, for instance, cyan, pure blue, up against the mixed blue, just put it right next to that other blue sample, right? Suddenly, magically, the undertone in that pigmented mixed sample will appear to you. Okay? So if you hold pure blue up next to a mixed blue, what you're going to see is your eyeball is going to absorb the blue in both situations, and then you are clearly going to see the leaning of the undertone, whether it's a gray, brown, or a red, or a green, whatever. You'll see it. You will see it. Not, not the train design. No, everyone will see it. So the key here is to have a color wheel with you when you are trying to mess with colors to understand and detect. They're like a little undertone sniffer. You hold up the pure color. So if it's a, if it's a warmer color, uh, in the magentas or the yellows and have that with you as well. So you hold that up and suddenly, boom, you'll see it and you won't be duped by the undertone anymore. Oh, uh, see? Um, this is why you pay me the big bucks to be here with you. Uh, and the coffee. The coffee's really good too. Hang on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's good. All right. I'm handing your pearls. More lessons about uh, winning the battle against color when we return. I'm so glad you joined me this morning. So much more to come. You're listening to Home with Dean Sharp, the House Whisperer. Andrew Caravella has the news. A judge has ordered the L.A. County Sheriff's Department to turn over records on thousands of cases of deputy misconduct and on-duty shootings after finding the agency failed repeatedly to honor a public records request. A man has been charged with a series of break-ins at restaurants in Long Beach, and Derek Chauvin has been sentenced to 22 and a half years in prison for the murder of George Floyd. We'll head back to the 91 Freeway next. So you're ready to build your dream kitchen. That is fantastic. You need to do something first, though. You need to uh, go have a free in-showroom consult with my friends at the kitchen store. Why, you ask? Uh, it's very simple. You need two things right at the beginning. You need the creativity and the wisdom of an expert kitchen designer to help you through the process. They know all the tricks. They know every accessory, every bobble, every new innovation, and whether or not it's going to fit right in your new kitchen. That's number one. Number two, you're going to get flooded with inspiration in the kitchen store's 7,000 square foot cabinet design showroom. So those two things together are so invaluable that everybody should simply make that appointment. The kitchen store is right off the 405 in Culver City. For more than 50 years, it's the place for kitchen cabinets in all of Southern California. They have state-of-the-art computer design, 12-month, same as cash financing, and pricing that beats the big box home center. So, start your new kitchen right, set up your free consultation by dialing 310-KITCHEN, that's 310-KITCHEN, and check out the kitchen store on the web at 310kitchen.com. 
K5 traffic taking another look at a crash on the 91. Corona, the eastbound side of the 91 before McKinley. This crash had only the right lane open. That's got you jammed back before Main Street. Now, a new crash in the Sepulveda Pass on the northbound side of the 405 just past Braga. Two right lanes taken away back up there starting around Sunset. Still more on the westbound side of the 210 freeway from Roxford to the 5. It's Caltrans that has all lanes closed until Monday morning around 5 o'clock. Take Foothill Boulevard instead. And ongoing road work in West Covina as well. Eastbound side of the 10, Puente to Azusa Avenue. Carpool in three left lanes shut down until around 8 o'clock. KFI in the sky helps get there faster. I'm Robert Dubucky. This report is sponsored by Mattress Firm. It's Mattress Firm's 4th of July sale. For a limited time, save up to $500 on a king bed for a queen price. On top-rated mattress brands like Sealy and Sleepies. Plus, get a free adjustable base with your $999 purchase. This report is sponsored by Mattress Firm. Would you get on an airplane if you knew it had a 50% chance of crashing? You may be riding that plane right now. If you have your money in a 401k or IRA and you plan to take out the recommended percentage each year when you retire, your chance of running out of money is 50%. 50%. But there's a better and safer way to secure your income in retirement. Discover how in a free book called Rescue Your Retirement. This wealth building strategy has never had a losing year in more than a century. In fact, even the man who invented the 401k now prefers this method instead. Get Rescue Your Retirement free for just a small shipping charge and enjoy a safe landing and a comfortable retirement. Get this free book and make sure you don't run out of money. Hurry, this offer is extremely limited. To get your free copy, just go to growwealthsafely.com. That's growwealthsafely.com safely.com to discover how to rescue your retirement. GrowWealthSafely.com If you have decided to sell your house, I need you to listen to me for a second. I know it's tempting to just list it as is or even take one of those cash out deals, you know. And you know what? If you got to sell in the next two weeks and you just got to, you know, there's a warrant for your arrest and you have to leave town. All right, fine. Consider the cash out deal, but for the rest of you, why sell yourself short when making just the right upgrades to your house is going to maximize its net value? You mean like flipping our home, Dean? We don't have the expertise or the cash for that. I know, but my friends at Revive do. Revive knows exactly what to change about your home, what to spend, where to spend it. They will manage everything for you, and they will front all the costs. Yeah, they front all the costs. They get paid back from escrow, but all of the profit gained is all yours. Now, how much profit is that? The average client makes over 200% profit on what Revive invests on their behalf. It is a no-brainer. We all know that houses that have been improved sell faster and sell for more and net you more profit. So reach out to iloverevive.com today to see if your home qualifies. To make the most from the sale of your home, go to iloverevive.com. That's iloverevive.com. Prescription products require an online consultation with a healthcare provider and are only available if the provider determines a prescription is appropriate. Subscription required. See website for full details and important safety information. Hey guys, good news. The expensive little blue pill is now generic, which means the prescription medication to treat ED is super affordable at 4 And now get your first online doctor's visit free at 4 That's right. Zero copay, no awkward face-to-face -face conversations to get your prescription. That's really good news. To start your free online visit, go to this exclusive address. 4 slash joy. That's F-O-R-H-I-M-S dot com slash joy. Great. Subject to change without notice. Minimum loan amount requirements apply. 50% loan to value and 620 FICO credit score. Certain restrictions apply. Subject to credit approval. NMLS 3290. Loans made or arranged pursuant to a California finance lender's law license. Number 6036970. Equal housing lender. Wake up. Have you seen these great home loan rates being advertised, but you've thought to yourself, well, I'll never qualify. Well, you clearly haven't called Intel Alone. Right now, Intel Alone is offering a 1.99% APR with no points or lender fees. This is even if your credit score is 620. So no more excuses. Even if you've got okay credit, you're self-employed, whatever it is, Intel Alone can help you get that great home loan. So call Intel Alone today and ask about a 1.99% APR with no points or lender fees even if your credit score is 620. 
Call them at 1-800-918-6200. That's 1-800-918-6200. Or just go to IntelliLoan.com. IntelliLoan. Borrow smart. Someone uses your toilet and it overflows. Can you imagine how embarrassing that is for your guests and for you? Hello, I'm John Okoyan, owner of Rooter Hero Plumbing. You're hosting a party, the water's on the floor, and your guest has to tell you that the toilet is backed up. And worst of all, you have to tell your guest that they can't use the bathroom. I shudder when I tell this story because it happened to me. Can you imagine? I own Rooter Hero Plumbing and my toilet overflowed. Talk about being humbled. Well, the truth is, it could happen to anyone. And the solution is to call 866-DRAIN-77. That's what I did, and our plumber was here within the hour. Not because I'm the owner, but that's just what we do. I'm so confident that you'll be satisfied with our services that I put my cell phone number on every business card. 866-DRAIN-77. That's 866-DRAIN-77. Newt Gingrich here, and I'd like to invite you to listen to my podcast, Newt's World. Most people know me as the former Speaker of the House, but I'm also a historian with a wide range of interests. I enjoy talking with experts in their field and the most interesting people across a variety of subjects. I release four episodes of Newt's World every week with an effort to excite the imagination of our audience, and hopefully you'll learn something new each time you listen. Listen and subscribe for free to Newt's World on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, everyone. My name is Neil Saavedra. I host a show about food and yummy things every Saturday from 2 to 5 p.m. And boy, would I love for you to listen. Thank you for your time. The Fork Report with Neil Saavedra this afternoon at 2 on KFI AM 640. More stimulating talk. Sharp the House Whisperer at your service. That is one of Olivia's favorite songs, Sam. Um, our little granddaughter who's about to turn five. Because our Jeep is yellow. She loves riding around in it and say, can you play Yellow Submarine? Sometimes she changes the words to we all live in a yellow Jeep named B. But it works. It's a lot of fun. Uh, is that the right picture? Yeah, that's it. Thank you, babe. Oh, just doing a little business here on the side while we're doing the program. Uh, never mind us. Uh, KFI, Dean Sharp, the house whisperer, at your service. We are right in the middle of a conversation about wrestling with color, and uh, I'm going to continue in just a moment uh, and hand you more pearls so that uh, you can win that battle against color choices. But uh, in a few moments uh, also, I'd like to go back to the phone. So we're going to open up the phone lines. I would love to talk to you about whatever's going on with your home today. Anything you want to talk about. Uh, the number to reach me, 833-2-ASK-DEAN. 833, the, numer the numeral 2, ASK-DEAN. Uh, okay, now, back to Kala. Uh, we've learned a couple of critical lessons so far. Lesson 3 is very simple, and we should have known this from our, our last one, and that is, that uh, you got to get yourself a color wheel. If you're going to take color seriously, get yourself a color wheel. A color wheel does a lot more than just give you a base reference for red, green, and blue. But uh, it's a good place to start. It really, really is. Uh, your phone is not going to be very helpful for you, and this is a critical lesson to learn. Uh, your phone isn't going to be very helpful this time around when it comes to these colors. Why? Because there are two kinds of color sources out there. What we call additive colors and subtractive colors. Now, let me just uh, get past that so that uh, you remember this. The two kinds of color are color that's coming from something that's emitting light, like a TV, like your phone screen, okay, uh, like your computer screen like a sign that has a, a light behind it that's pushing light out at you, okay? That's a, one kind of color that we call additive, okay? Uh, 
and the control colors in that are red, green, and blue, RGB, okay? Um, subtractive colors is everything else, or, or think of it in the terms of reflective colors. It's the color that you see bouncing off things all around you, everything. That's 99.9% that's .9 of all the color that you see are subtractive colors. In other words, it's the color that's bouncing off your wall. It's the color that's bouncing off your wife's face. It's the color, you know, it's that, that's the color that we see. Uh, uh, when we say somebody is glowing, we don't literally mean that they're glowing because that would be a that would be additive color. That would be color coming out, <laughs> light coming out from underneath their skin. We're talking about reflection. So the color wheel, which is a reflective subtractive color substrate, is what you need to hold up next to other subtractive colors. Does that make sense? Okay, I hope so. So you get yourself a color wheel uh, just about anywhere. You can get them at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Joann's Fabrics, uh, or you can go online, colorwheelco.com, colorwheelcompany.com. Uh, it is the key to proper color design. It is the most important color tool that you can have as you're starting to wrestle with this. Uh, the next thing is that the wrong artificial light ruins your color choices, okay? Now, what do I mean by that? Well, every light also gives out light waves, right? Clearly. Every light wave is tuned at a certain frequency. So lights have what we call a color temperature range from warm to cool, but also, especially when it comes to LED lights these days, all light sources have what we call a color rendering index, or a CRI. And a CRI, the CRI index is a scale of 0 to 100. And it is the measure of how faithfully a light source preserves your color perception. So what that means is, here's my wife, and she's wearing a black t-shirt with, oh, a House Whisperer logo on it, <laughs> um, which is uh, yellow-ish, uh, kind of yellow gold. So. Under the particular lamp that is lighting uh, the studio right now, that yellow and gold has a certain perception. Now, if, if she walks outside and uh, we see that just in daylight, those colors might shift a little bit if this lamp that we're under currently does not have a high CRI value. So the scale is 0 to 100, 100 being best, meaning that it allows your eyes to retain that color perfectly. When it comes to bad lighting, especially like in closets, right? Bad lighting in closets, uh, your colors of your, of your clothing, they can get muddied and muddled up. And you take them out of the closet, you take them out into the light of the bathroom or the bedroom, and you realize, oh, that's not the color I wanted, and you put it back. So artificial light affects color as well. Is there a lesson attached to that? Oh, yes, there is. When will I tell you? When we come back. You are home with Dean Sharp, the house whisperer, uh, more on wrestling with color when we return. Andrew Caravella has the news. A woman has been arrested for leaving her newborn baby in the bathroom trash can at a park in Linwood. The baby's mother is a 22-year-old woman from Guatemala. The baby was found on June 11th. Cops say the baby was most likely born in the bathroom, and then the woman dumped her in the trash can. Activists have plans to dress down hate at the Huntington Beach Pier in a protest for unity through fashion. We got everyone to at least come with a blazer. Classic Gentleman CEO Willie Holmes says protesters will be dapper to challenge stereotypical narratives. The narrative of people of color being ghetto or portrayed as monsters or violent or have to portray themselves in a certain way to get attention that we see in the media. He says maybe dressing up the message in South County will help people listen. It's like, I don't like what you're saying, but I like what you're wearing, and I think I want to hear more about it. The Jensen Suits event is this afternoon at the Huntington Beach Pier in Orange County, Corbin Carson, KFI News. Ex-Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin is back in solitary confinement as he serves his sentence for the death of George Floyd. Chauvin was sentenced yesterday to 22 and a half years in prison for Floyd's death last spring. But Floyd's nephew, Brandon Williams, says the sentence isn't long enough. We were served the life sentence. We can't get George back. Gianna can't hug George again. He'll be able to hug his family possibly and see his family again. We can't get George back. Chauvin's legal team has 90 days to appeal the judge's sentence. 
Officials in Surfside say an inspection shows there were signs uh, of the start of structural deterioration in the condo building that collapsed on Thursday. The city posted documentation of the 2018 inspection, which says there was cracking, flaking, and other signs of deterioration of the concrete structural support columns. The report says a plan of action to fix the structural weakness was being developed. Right now, we're going to stick on the 91 for traffic. It's Corona, the 91 eastbound to Fort McKinley. This crash has only the right lane open. That's got you jammed back to Fort Main Street. A new problem in Upland as well on the eastbound side of the 10 to Fort Mountain. It's a crash in the middle lane. that's got you back to Paul Ray 2 out central. Small to pass, ongoing problems. Northbound side of the 405 past Moraga. Crash in the two right lanes. Back up there starts, to, starts around Wilshire. And Stillmar on the westbound side of the 210 freeway. Roxford to the 5. Caltrans work with all lanes shut down all weekend long. So around 5 o'clock Monday morning, take Foothill Boulevard instead. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Robert Bucky. I cannot tell you how simple it is to have Duffy Power come out and set you up with an emergency generator for your home. I can also not tell you how critical it is in uh, in the days and years ahead. Uh, let me explain it to you this way: all new builds that we do, all new builds, everything we design from the ground up these days. It's just a given that uh, an emergency backup generator is going to be a part of that. You're also going to start to see home developers start to do the exact same thing. So you can get a jump on it now. There is no reason you have to go through another power outage uh, again because the technology is there to solve the problem. So Duffy, that's by the way spelled D-U-T-H-I-E, Duffy Power, okay? Uh, is the expert on emergency backup generators in Southern California. They handle the largest commercial systems to your needs in your home. Zero percent interest financing. Payments as low as $72 a month. Emergency power is totally affordable. So call Duffy Power today. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say Duffy Power. Pound 250, Duffy Power, or find them on the web at Duffy Power. Com. That's D-U-T-H-I-E power.com. Southland weather from KFI. Today it'll be partly cloudy the rest of the day. Highs from the upper 60s to mid 70s at the beaches to the lower to mid 80s metro LAOC. Mid 80s to low 90s for the valleys and mid 90s to low 100s for parts of the Inland Empire. We leave local live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Andrew Caravella. Prescription products require an online consultation with a healthcare provider and a family available with the provider determines the prescription is appropriate. Subscription requires see website for full details and important safety information. Hey guys, good news. The outrageously expensive little blue pill is now generic, which means you can get the prescription medication to treat ED at affordable prices. And him makes it extra affordable. You pay just 30 bucks for a month's supply. And right now, get your first online doctor's visit totally free when you go to forhims.com slash joy. That's right, free. Zero copay, no expensive appointments, no awkward face-to-face -face conversations to get your prescription. Hems connects you to doctors online who can evaluate you and, if appropriate, prescribe your ED medication. And a pharmacy sends it right to your door. Hems makes it affordable, private, and incredibly easy. Nobody likes dealing with ED. Now, thanks to Hems, nobody has to. And that's really good news. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, forhims.com slash joy. That's forhims.com slash joy for your free online visit. F-O-R-H-I-M-S dot com slash joy. The S&P 500 averaged a return of 7% annually between 2006 and 2020. But if you missed the 16 best days over those 14 years, the return would have been zero. That's like taking a cake out of the oven before it's done. So call 833 plan EFE for your free retirement review from Edelman Financial Engines. Don't risk your future on a half-baked strategy like market timing. Instead, get a long-term strategy from an experienced professional financial advisor. Your advisor will double-check your current investments and discuss what you need to do now to help prepare for your future. Plus, you'll get a free personal financial plan that can adapt as your life evolves. That plan alone is worth $800. Getting it free is just icing on the cake. Call 833-PLANT-EFE by Tuesday, 10 p.m. Or visit EdelmanFinancialEngines.com. That's 833-PLANT-EFE. Or visit EdelmanFinancialEngines.com. Blue. 